So we are now at the Historical Pearl, which is in our historical city of San Antonio, just about to turn 300 years old, one of the most spectacular cities in the United States. We're gonna focus on one part of San Antonio, which is Southtown. We're gonna go take you there right now. Let's go. So we're here at pretty much the heart of Southtown. It's, it's where it all started. It's, it's called Blue Star Brewery. Uh, there's a brewery at one end of this complex. We're at the, the northern end, which is Halison. It's a coffee shop. In my opinion, if you live near here or down here, or you're just coming down here, the perfect after, din after date kind of dessert coffee area. Um, very cool, very trendy, very modern. For sure. And what you love about it is that you can get all these different types of desserts, like you can make your own s'mores. There's, uh, the day after or, or overnight French toast, you can get some of the best coffee that you can find in San Antonio. But why Blue Star is so awesome is because it actually kind of started the whole Southtown revolution in my opinion because here, first Friday, every first Friday of the month, you can come down to the Southtown area and this entire place is, has a sea of people. They're on bikes, they're on bird scooters, they're on skateboards, they're on longboards. Uh, it's a huge walk of art. And you, you have people, uh, you have bands playing, you got art being displayed, um, yeah. vendors, it's, it's, a, it's a great atmosphere, it's a ton of excitement, it, energy. Um, yeah, and, but the craziest thing is that the Riverwalk's right there. It's like we were, we're looking over the Riverwalk, but even more importantly, there's a focus on just the living. This is the residential district of the Riverwalk. So you have Big Tex, which is one of the most important um, multifamily complexes right here. Inside of Big Tex is Burger Teca. It's one of the nicest restaurants, known for its infusion of Mexican and burger culture. Uh, I mean, if you if you have legs or then you want to just get out and just walk around, this is the place to live, right? This is and Bobby here. See, I've been here for about yeah. nine years now. Um, way different from when I first moved here. Everyone thought I was crazy for yeah. moving to the area, uh, but now I, I think I'm like the Nostradamus of real estate because yeah. real estate boomed since I got here. Yeah, I think uh, it was maybe because I got here, I don't know. It might be that, for sure. But Bob got here, what, nine years ago? Nine years ago. Uh, grew up here in the 90s. So I like... grew up in the 90s. It was, it was totally different. It was not the safest area, but now it's one of the coolest, trendiest areas to be in. Yeah, if you, I would let my son walk around here all day long. It would be totally fine. I mean, this is what, this is the downtown historic living. It, it all comes together off of the Riverwalk. Uh, if you want to be where all the restaurants are, it's the trendiest place possible. Down the street from this listing that we're going to check out, uh, which is King William is the neighborhood, and it has some of the richest history in, in Texas, actually. It's one of the I'll, oldest houses from the 1800s. Um, lots of history. Yeah, I mean, the, every single street's named after uh, one of the, Spanish kings or queens that have actually lived here and settled here. Uh, our city, which is, in my opinion, the best city in the U.S., turning 300 this year, and you can really see the new and the old kind of mesh here at, at this Blue Star slash King William area. Uh, we're currently in 222 Adams in the historical King William District. We're standing in the greeting parlor where we're greeting you. And uh, the home has recently been, been finished. Uh, so as you can see, you're gonna see the double doors behind you, original stained glass windows, almost floor to ceiling windows with a lot of the original glass so you can still see the waves in it. Here, let's go to the next room. So when you're buying a home in King William, what you're buying is history. This entire neighborhood is nothing but history. This house built in 1890. There's rumors or actually actually confirmed data that this home was uh, owned by Francisco Madero. And any of the history buffs know that Francisco Madero, he was a, a Mexican revolutionary. During the Mexican Revolutionary War, um, this was one of his arms depots. So you can imagine him having this entire spread out, uh, you know, just kind of having his whole war just planned out maybe in this room. What we're standing in right now is the living area. We're looking at bay windows. Bay windows looking out to this beautiful Adam Street where the parade comes across every single year, the King Williams Parade. What I love about this home more than anything, besides the history, because again, King Williams is nothing but history. It actually was uh, built, the neighborhood was built, uh, started in 1853 to about 1859 from Barb Street all the way down to the San Antonio River, which is now our precious Riverwalk. 
they didn't get to this side like Adams and Gunther Street until about the 1890s, 1900s. So this is kind of the newer you know, portion of the block when you're looking at the turn of the century right there. Uh, and so you can see the preservation of what this, this family did. This is all original right here. All of this inlay is exactly how it was before they've kept it. You can see all the beams that, or the, the exposed brick that goes all the way to the top. We've, they've now configured this home to, for the more modern family. So this is a living area with a bay window, but in here, imagine just having the most perfect dinner setting right here, chandelier. We have exposed brick that goes into a butler area that we're about to go into. If you can look right up here, there's an exposed beam that, that has been embedded right here. This is sand, uh, actually uh, Sam and Sons. This is a lumber company that's still in effect today here in the San Antonio area. Th you're buying a piece of San Antonio when you're buying something in the King Williams district and 222 Adams really is the preservation of both new and old uh, and, and that's what you're buying. It's, it's, it's all about the history. Now, from this dining area, we come to what, depending on what your family is, is doing, this is either going to be maybe an office. Uh, I would probably use it as a butler's room. You can have your know, service here. You can have china cabinets. It has an awesome Turkish light fixture. Uh, the most important thing, it is the room between the dining area and the kitchen that Bobby's gonna show you right now. So the sellers did a great job in here of keeping some of that classic antique look from the original wainscoting on the wall to some of the plaster that they hand, this is a hand finish to make it look that way. It looks very, very old. Um, you do have some of the old touches such as the backsplash, the sink, and some of the, uh, and some of the cabinets. So we're gonna move on to the rest of the house. Jay? What you're going to know about this house that it's, it's for the modern family. This is just one of the, the bathrooms, uh, three total. It's a powder room. It has a really modern uh, wallpaper. Once you turn on the lights in any of these bathrooms, what happens is a Bluetooth sensor comes on. And so you, if you, you can actually add it to your Bluetooth if you want to you know, jam out a little bit while you're, you're getting ready or, or you know, powdering your nose. What they've done to this house as far as renovation is they've hidden everything. So this is a, a, this is a hidden AC closet. So we have to retrofit the old and the new, right? So this is a, this is a inlay inside of the actual, the, the wall, it keeps the wainscoting. Right here under the staircase is a media closet. This is, or storage or whatever you like to do with it. This is an actual media closet. So they've utilized every single square inch, square foot of this property to make sure that you can actually keep the integrity of the home. But of course it's built for the modern family. Let's check out the upstairs. So this is one of the first two stories in the state of Texas. So they had to retrofit these long staircases going all the way down. You can see a modern light fixture. They brought in some shiplap to still give that rustic modern look. And it, it has this, this, this greeting hallway that actually is, feeds right to the master at the top left corner of the home. And I'll let Bobby check, check this out with you all right now. We're in the master bedroom. Um, still has the original closet in 1890. Closets were not a focal point of the home, obviously. So the buyers were able to retrofit into the existing floor plan a very large walk-in closet that anyone can use nowadays. This is a master bath. Um, ball and claw tub, double vanity with the marble. Obviously we didn't have that in 1890. Before we check out my favorite part of this entire home, I want to stop in the secondary bathroom. This is very unique. We have, depending on your livelihood or your lifestyle, we have either a baby or a puppy sink. It has a full spray. This is, this is up to the level. You could be holding your, your favorite uh, baby, whatever it is, fur baby or regular baby right up here. Has subway tiles going all the way up to the 13 foot ceilings on the second floor, by the way. Natural light, Edison light bulbs. We have uh, the Beautiful, beautiful countertop. Like I said, this house is the perfect mesh between old and new. And right off of the third bedroom in the upstairs, uh, again, floor to ceiling windows nearly. So the natural light in this house is beyond, is beyond competition. We come out to the patio. There's two wraparound patios. They wrap around the right side of the, of the home, both on the bottom side and, and the top side. This is my favorite part of the house for the biggest reason is that if you're gonna live in King Williams Historic District, 
you're going to want to be here during Fiesta, during the King Williams Parade that happens right here on Adams Street. Imagine family, friends, cookouts, uh, this is a shindig, the shindig to kill all shindigs here at 222 Adams, looking at the biggest festival in San Antonio, which is downtown in King Williams, the King William uh, Fair, which also leads to the King Williams Parade right in front of 222 Adams. This is a great, gorgeous home. For more, for more information, contact us. Back to the studio.